Yo, sup guys, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Had a Gundam Slash Gunpla Quirk. This is part six. In the last part, Izuku began his first day at UA with also beginning his hero course studies and his Gunpla course studies as well, with him having quite a bit of, well, obstacles to go over with new friends and new rivals. As soon, Izuku head back to the Hero Course training and made it in time for battle, for battle combat training, where soon he and Toru plan on going against Bakugo and Saro. So, with that said, let's get into this, shall we guys? As Izuku began giving out information about his quirk, being Gunpla Unity, would soon Izuku and Toru make it to the warehouse, as where the bomb, where Bakugo and Saro would be ho holding the bomb. With them, Izuku gives Toru a certain plan that they should be working on, with a couple plans that Izuku thought of basically being turned down by Toru, and the same could be for her as well. With soon Izuku thought of something that could work if if she trusts him with her saying that she of course she trusted him with soon a couple minutes later they enter the building with izuku and toru going up from each floor the floor to find the bomb with then soon izuku somebody began coming out of the corner as then a huge explosion come basically was sent at both Izuku and Toru, with Izuku grabbing onto Toru, asking if she's okay, with her saying, yeah, I'm fine, with then Izuku looking at the person that did that, at the explosion being Bakugo, saying, there you are, Deku, as Izuku saying, Kachan. With soon, Toru saying, Izuku, you already know the plan, Toru. Follow it. Saying, you sure about this? Saying, I know I'm sure. Just give me, just give me a couple minutes, and I'll get, and I'll help you out when I can. With Sumbaka saying, there you go again, being so goddamn arrogant. It pisses me off. With soon, Izuku pulls out his. GN sword and also his Exia dark sh dark matter shield with then he points them at Bakugo with then Bakugo saying you really think you could beat me saying it's always a little narrow so I got to be prepared on how I swing this GN sword I can folk however if I can get a couple of distance then as soon the two rush at each other, with Izuku swinging his sword at Bakugo, and Bakugo prepared for an explosion. With while Izuku sw swinged his sword at Bakugo, he guard he guard himself with his shield. With then the explo as Bakugo was soon hit by the sword, but was not cut. With soon everybody wondering, wait, did wait the sword didn't cut Bakugo. With then, All Might saying, of course it didn't, during my training with young Midoriya. He can choose what his weapons can cut through, such as his beam weaponry and other stuff that his Gumpla has as main weapons. For example, he's most likely used that his Gump, that his GN sword can't cut through, bop, through human skin or human bone or muscle or anything like that. So, instead... I believe that he only focused it on cutting through, cutting through the building instead. With then Bakugo getting hit but not cut. With surprise about this, Izuku took the chance and then kicked Bakugo on the other side. With him skidding back a little bit, saying "Damn you!" Before. Switching to his rifle mode of his GN sword and then shooting out beam shots right at 
the ash and blonde with Bakugo actually feeling this pain for once saying what those things are real as soon he continues getting shot by them however he's not bleeding from each attack as Izuki saying I only put them to only stun or whittle down his physical strength with each shot however I have a limit on how much I can shoot as Izuku continues shooting at Bakugo, as Bakugo gets annoyed, Izuku takes, the ch takes this chance, switches back to his sword form, and then basically ch runs at Bakugo. As soon, he pushes him back with his sword all the way to the other side of the, uh, of the hallway. As Bakugo saying, you damn nerd! As he pl places his, his hand on on Izuku's helmet and then creates an explosion that, om that almost breaks through the glass which actually cracks the glass of his helmet which Izuku's saying uh, damn it I didn't think that he really is not going he's not holding back anymore as soon Bakyo's saying you bastard you damn bastard how how can you just have a quirk just like now? I didn't even believe in that late bloomer bullshit. I always thought I was better than you. Always am. And I, al and I always will be. But then, your stupid gunplug came involved. Everyone idolized you. Everyone thought that you were cooler. Everyone thought that you were better than me. Me! How can a quirkless person like you be so popular? Answer me, Deku! As Izuku's saying, shut up. But saying, what? I said, shut the hell up, Kachan. Sit. Baku's saying, why you? You're asking why I'm so popular? Get real. It's pretty obvious why. Because Gunpla isn't just about freaking figurines and model kits. It isn't about just pe about being able to build figurines from a, from a TV show, manga, and video games. It's more than that. Gunpla unites everybody. Gundam shows us what humanity could become beyond our quirks, beyond anything. You're just too damn afraid to show it because the only thing you care about is to prove on how strong you are. Strength isn't everything, but you're not gonna listen to me even if I tell you. So all I am is just talking to a damn brick wall. With soon Bakyo saying, are you calling me an idiot? With saying, somewhat, maybe I am. With Bakyo saying, why you damn nerd? I'm gonna, you what? Screw this. As soon, he pulls back his grenade gauntlet, saying, you already know how my quirk works because you being such a damn nerd after all. So there's no point of boring you with all the details. But simply, you do know that my, that my sweat acts as similar to that of nitroglycerin. So now, guess what would happen if all that sweat was stored up into one single thing? As Izuku realized, saying, you psychotic bastard you can't be serious but soon all might saying on the microphone saying oh young bakugo you can't release that weapon in here if you'll do that you'll kill him but soon bakugo prepared to pull the pin saying it only matters if he dodges he'll live if he moves out of the way as he having that of a devilish smile and then pulls the pin with a massive explosion heading straight for Izuku. As Izuku sank, you damn bastard. As soon his weapons disappeared, and soon something else appeared in his in his path. With then the massive explosion was basically circ went through the wall. However, it rocked the entire building itself. With then but even Toru began shaking and fell while she was climbing up the stairs. Not only that, Sero also began realizing, what the hell? 
Was that Bakugo? What the heck is he doing to Midoriya down there? Honestly, I'm wondering where the heck Hagakure is. With soon, without even realizing it, the door began op was opened with Toru making it into the top floor. But once she arrived, she see that tons of tape was actually wrapped around the entire, the entire floor and room. Realizing if she doesn't move carefully, most likely she's going to get stuck. Thinking to herself, she's saying, Oh, Izuku, please be okay. And also, get your ass up here, please. As soon, Bakugo couldn't help but smile. As the dust soon settles, he sees a massive shield. As he wonders, what the hell? What the hell? As it being Izuku's 11th shield. Be, being from the IX Gundam. With the massive shield protected Izuku before the explosion hit him. As then the massive shield disappears. And all that was left was an angry Izuku. With his helmet cracked and everything. With soon Izuku saying... You know what? I thought just being somewhat courteous and trying to show that I'm no longer the weak person I once was, basically telling you that I'm not the same Izuku Midoriya. Not only that, I'm telling you this now. I'm not Deku. That's not my name, Kotsky. As soon, Bakugo realizing that Izuku was pissed, as then on his back, Something appears as it being that of the Charitum Gundam's GN Drive thrusters. As soon he rushes right at Bakugo, as Bakugo tried to use an explosion to hit Izuku, he dodges by spinning in the air and then grabbing Bakugo by his hair and then rushing to an open area within the hallway. As he begins to see light, he soon tosses Bakugo in the, into the open area before pulling out his GN twin pistols from his back and then began shooting a barrage of, of beams right at Bakugo as he continues getting pelted while he's still in the air a little bit before landing. As then the, his, his thrusters began disappearing alongside his pistols as well, with Bakugo with tons of scratches, and Izuku with barely any scratches whatsoever. With that, Bakugo saying, damn you, damn you, how are you this strong? But soon, Izuku saying, I put my Gunpla career on the line to get into this school, to get into this class, with soon, Baku saying, what? I trained day in and day out to master my quirk, to master all of my Gunpla models, each and every one of them. Because of that, our junior high lost the national tournament. I lost the Tokyo tournament as well because I wanted to prove that I can become a hero, that I can become a hero and, a Gunpla, and the next Gunpla champion like Matsudo. So, I worked at it. Sure, I may, I may have slacked off in my Gunpla training, but that doesn't make me rusty. Not only that, I have a better understanding of not just my Gunpla anymore, but also myself. I'm no longer weak, and I'm no longer just a Gunpla pilot. I am Izuku Midoriya. And I'm going to be the Gundam hero. Remember that name. Kachan. As soon. Baka Singh. Keep talking like that. All I can hear is basically you looking down on me. Singh. And that's exactly why you're going to lose. As soon a light begins to envelop Izuku. As soon he takes the appearance of that of his Omega Gundam with, with in all of its glory. With soon, 
he brings out his GN Panzer Spear, with soon spins it around him before pointed at Bakugo. As Bakugo gets pissed, he plans on hitting him with a flurry of explosions. However, Izuku dodges each one and then hitting Bakugo with his spear before he activates his spear's per a powerful blast as he shoots a powerful GN, can GN beam blast right at Bakugo as he's soon consumed by it. And this time, it actually burns his skin a little bit. With soon, he gets sent back down, but Izuku isn't done yet. As he soon pulls down his heat rod shield and then brings out the, the whip itself. As, it wrap, as he soon hits Bakugo with it, wraps it around him, and then drags him down on the ground before, put, before throwing him to the wall and then using his mega output cannon pointed at right at Bakugo and then shooting it square at Bakugo as well as Bakugo screams in agony from the blast with even if as the blast also begins piercing through the wall as, as well even though Izuku put it on his on the lowest setting with then Bakugo fall falling unconscious from that blast. As soon, Izuku takes a deep breath before removing the Shadow Gundam helmet on his head as he sent, and then taking off his own personal helmet and then thinking to himself, I wish he didn't have to come to this, Kachan. As soon, he, he actually calls Toru as he was about to say, Soon, all they can hear what All Might saying, the hero team has won! With soon Izuki saying, well, no need for that. As then Izuki looks at Bakugo, who's still unconscious, behind a crumbling wall, before realizing, I can't just leave him here. He may annoy the hell out of me, but he's not, but I'm not an asshole as he grabs Bakugo on his shoulders and then carries him out to the monitoring room. As soon, Toru sees Izuku as, as she soon screams out, Izuku, we did it, we did it! As saying, yeah, guess we did. As he, as he couldn't help but feel happy too. With soon he begins blushing pretty hard. Still hasn't completely come to terms about Toru's costume yet, though. With soon Sarah saying, Man, I think it would have been better if Bakugo helped me out a little bit more and probably gave me a little bit more heads up about your quirk or about that damn explosion. With soon Izuku saying, Don't be too mad at him. He's too, he's too insecure and too full of himself. To be honest, I think that's more my fault as well. To be, but this is what the idiot deserves. He needed to be knocked down a peg, at least for a little while. But knowing tomorrow, he'll get back. He'll be back to normal. As soon, a couple of recovery bots begin to show up. As Izuku puts Bakugo on a stretcher to Recovery Girls Infirmary. With then Izuku, Toru, and Sero make it back to the monitoring room as Izuku is back to normal. With soon back in the monitoring room, All Might saying, well done everyone, especially you young Midoriya, M young Toru. Now, who do you think, everyone here, please tell me, who do you believe should be the MVP? And as a couple people begin thinking that it should be Izuku, of course, given his abilities, with soon somebody speaking up, as it being a spike, a black haired spiky ponytail girl by the name of Momo Yayorozu, as she soon sang, the MVP should go to Hakakore, with everyone thinking, wait, what? Why her? As soon, Izuki saying, agreed, Toru does deserve it a lot more. 
with even Toru actually getting confused, wondering, wait, why do I? As soon Hizuku saying, well, given the circumstances, the person that doesn't deserve MVP is most likely Kachan, given that he was too damn obsessed with me and didn't coordinate with Zero one bit. And because of that, he also underestimated me and tried to go all out from the start. Even so, it was so annoying. So, and also, I don't deserve MPP because I could have solved things a lot more sooner if I was given the best chance. However, I wasn't. Given, my t given the tight scenario I was in, I couldn't really move around and use the best of my abilities before making it to a better area. Not only that, I also had my own personal reasons on why I didn't want to finish it so soon. Then there's Sero, who didn't really do much. Besides making that trap for you and for us, it didn't really help this in the co in combat. So, you were the only one who took your job serious. You had a good plan, your stealth used your quirk effectively, and in case things did go wrong, I did give you my beam saber. As soon she's saying, oh, right. As she soon bends down and grabs something from her boots and gives back Izuku one of his beam sabers. And I think, thank you. After saying that, it soon disappears. With all I saying, well said, young Midoriya. Too bad you didn't get MVP, but you did do well in the training exercise. If anything, you deserve to be at least veteran. Be the second MVP, in case, just in case you would like to. With Izuku saying, ah, none of that all might. I could care less. With soon after... All the other practice matches began going on, with some ending up a little bit differently than they would in canon, and some actually being, sim being similar to that of canon, actually. So, yeah. If you guys can think on what could happen during these matches, with Toru replacing Ochako, and Sero replacing Ida. So, yeah. With that, training comes to an end, with then All Might saying, Well done, everyone. Truly, you are amazing. I hope to see what you're all capable of in the near future. If anything, take care. Goodbye. After saying that, All Might ran at full speed away from Class 1A. With soon everybody in Class 1A being, well, Ojiro, Kirishima, and even, well, and even Sue begin commenting that even he leaves like a hero in a way. With... With some of them also saying that it almost seems like he was quite in a hurry or something. With soon Izuku thinking his time limit's running out. Uh, no surprise. He was in it almost all this entire time. And not only that, the some of the matches took almost 30, took, took way longer than expected. With then Izuku planning on heading to change out of his school uniform. And then planning to head to Bakugo with soon gra as Toru saying, Hey, Izuku, are you okay? Saying, huh? Why wouldn't I be? Because you're, you plan on going to see Bakugo, am I right? With Izuku saying, Ugh, it's that easy to see. Well, it only seems right. I did, I almost did put the guy in, well, urgent care after all. After what I did, with soon saying, but he almost tried to, yes, he almost tried to kill me. He didn't really do it. But it's not like he, he has destructive power too. So do I. Unlike him, I know how to use it properly and not use it in just blind rage. But I still want to apologize either way. With soon Izuku walking off. On his own, with Kirishima saying, even after a battle like that, he still, he still wants to make up with Bakugo. Truly, he is a man's man. With soon, Shoto can help but look at Izuku, saying, Izuku Midoriya. As Izuku changes back into his school uniform, he he goes to the infirmary and where he sees that Bakugo is already gone, but saying, what the. Where the hell did Kachan go? With soon Kuriro saying, Oh, 
Midoriya, was it? Eh, looks like Bakugo already left. He went to change out of his clothes and planned on heading and planned on already heading home. Didn't even plan on going to his classroom. Saying, wait, seriously? He's are he's healed up, but he still but he has tons of bruises and bandages wrapped around him. So he sh I told him he shouldn't be moving yet, but he didn't listen, of course. With soon Izuku saying, "Damn it, that idiot!" As he rushes towards the egg to the entrance of UA, as he sees the bandage ashen blonde saying, "Hey, catch on!" With soon Bakio saying, "Damn it, I thought I could." What the hell you think you're doing? With Tsun saying, I'm going home. What's it to you? With Izuku saying, are you serious? You're seriously leaving like that? Like this? Not even going to say anything? With Tsun saying, what's it matter? I failed. I lost to you of all people. With Tsun saying, is that so bad? After hearing that comment, Bakugo clenches his fist. As soon saying, that's so bad. That's so bad. It's humiliating. Losing to somebody like you. Somebody so weak. Somebody who shouldn't even be in the hero course class. Somebody who shouldn't even be in UA at all. And yet, everyone cares about that stupid Gumpla. You care about that stupid Gumpla. Didn't you care more about heroes more than anything? What soon he's saying, yeah. And I still do, just not as much. With soon, he's saying, what's the real reason why you can't accept that you lost to me? What's the real reason why you feel so insecure or so weak and so afraid to accept a loss? Because you always believe that the strongest heroes, no, the best heroes are the ones who can always win. The ones who can always come on on top. And since you lost, you feel like you're nothing. You feel weak. You feel insecure. That's why. Am I right? But soon, Bakugo screams, Don't you dare say that you know me! But soon, Bakugo's eyes begin widening as Izuku has one of his beam rifles in his hand, as it being his shield buster. As soon, Izuku's saying, you know, with this quirk, with this gunpla quirk, I'm able to make the thing, make all my beam weaponry, all the weapons, all the functions of my gunpla become real in reality. Everything that you would see in the TV show, games, every in the mangas, everything can become real. Not only that, I can even choose on how much power I can put into them, choose and change the properties too. When I was shooting you with my GM sword rifle, I focused more on stun and paralyzing you. And sti now, right now, if I shoot you, I can I it will actually go through your body. It will actually feel like you've been shot by a bullet made out of pure light. And right now, I'm aiming straight at your head. What soon, Bakugo feeling terrified, saying, "Why?" Why are you doing this? This is soon as you can tell him because I'm not the same Deku. I'm not Deku anymore. You can continue calling me that word all you want. I'm not going to, it's not like it means anything anymore because it doesn't, because I'm not weak. I'm not useless. I am something. Both Gundam and Gunpla made me on who I am today now. My friends made me on who I am. And not only that, the people who supported me made me who I am now. You, on the other hand, who I thought is my childhood best friend, somebody I idolized, his quirk, and believe who could have became a great and amazing hero. Somebody who still looks down on me today, even though I'm your equal, and I will always be your equal. Until then, you're not my equal right now. All I see is a person crying over one mistake. But soon, Izuku disapp 
disappear, disappearing his shield buster as he soon sank. Until I, until you're truly ready, until I truly see the Kachan I once thought of as a great hero comes back. You're not, you're not him. All you are is Katsuki Bakugo. Somebody who I don't even care about anymore. As he walks past Bakugo and soon says, from now on, you're nothing to me. As soon, Bakugo hears this and for some reason he couldn't help but shed a single tear within the day ends and training ends as well. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to read them. Also, like and subscribe. And hit that bell notification to keep up to date with my other videos as well. When YouTube doesn't like to inform people about my video when I upload. And also, check out my Discord and my gaming channel. Links would be in the description below if you feel like it, looking them up. So, with all that said, this is Leon Moki, signing out. Later, guys. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you liked Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye!